in the Philippines today, fintech is actually moving to the right direction. This is actually benefiting the country as a whole because you could actually see that more people are having access to their um, banking needs. We are living in a very dynamic and even chaotic world. Take time to look behind the surface so that you can understand what exactly are the things you need in your business, in your life. In your panel discussion, you did talk about the adoption of AI technology in the country and has, as exciting as it sounds, there are some concerns, um, like you mentioned, uh, in terms of adopting AI. Can you tell us more about this? Yes, so I think the, one of the primary concerns that we actually have when it comes to AI adoption is that sometimes AI could also produce a lot of biased information and also lots of hallucination as well. So it's actually very important that we are actually critical to really ensuring and really checking on what AI is actually um, producing. Also in your panel, you did talk about security of digital financial transactions in the country. What are uh, the most pressing issues now? Definitely when it comes to um, digital um, transaction security, the most pressing issue is that we have a lot of frauds um, going on as well. I mean, I think the threat of you know scammers, um, particularly on when it comes to finance and payments, is actually there. So it's actually very important for us to really understand that these are real risks that the company could have, not just actually in terms of losing money, but also in terms of losing the credibility and integrity in the whole community, which would definitely damage the company. Let's talk about the Philippines for now. The fintech market in the country has grown exponentially. What do you think are the contributing factors to that? What I'm saying it is more the fact that people are, act are actually opening their minds towards technology already. So I think if you've noticed, a lot of people are actually using the social media nowadays. And, you know, when you actually open up yourself to this kind of technology, you actually learn as well, I mean, uh, as a user. And practically speaking, we'd like everything to be within our reach, right? So instead of me really going to the back, I can just actually get to my mobile phones and do everything that I can in my mobile phones because that would actually mean that I don't have to queue anymore. I don't have to go out of the office and then, you know, queue in the bank. But now I can actually do everything on my fingertips. In your presentation, yes. Ricky Sun, you talked about the convergence of AI and big data yes. and where we are going with all this. It's probably going to be a long-term Twin, you know, going going on for the next maybe 10 years or maybe even more. But essentially, I think we're talking about a couple problems with today's AI and big data, right? The accuracy problem, the explainability black box problem, and also the depth. A lot of technologies today are processing data in a very shallow way. So I think a lot of these problems can be disrupted or innovated using real-time graph technology, like real-time graph database that we're building, uh, but we're also adding, you know, the explainability into it, because a lot of the queries, I mean, the, the analytics, the data processing should be done in a white box way, which is very important. But in general, we're talking about speed, depth, accuracy, plus explainability. When you say big data, yeah. um, what comes to mind is blockchain. Oh yeah. So uh, what are your thoughts on integrating AI and blockchain to perhaps overcome these challenges that you just mentioned? You know, blockchain essentially is also, is part of the big data domain, but blockchain data or blockchain network essentially is a graph. It's called DAG, you know, Directed Acyclic Graph. So using graph technology like graph database can natively naturally analyze these data. So I, I think these are the key messages or key characteristics for if you consider graph is also part of AI, but it's just more explainable and faster and more accurate. I think there's a great potential for incorporating that kind of a graph technology into the blockchain domain. So are you currently using blockchain technology? And if not, are you planning to? Actually, it should be the other way. We are using graph technology to empower blockchain use cases. So that's what we do. Great, well thank you Ricky. All right, thank you.